This is Alan with the Growling Network. Welcome. Today I'm showing yet another way on how to prepare a turkey. I purchased an eight pound Shelton turkey breast from a local butcher called the Corner Butcher Shop located here in Southern California. As always guys, I appreciate you stopping by and supporting the channel. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and smash that like button. Today we're doing something a little bit different. If you're like me and like eating the white meat on the traditional whole turkey or want to feed a smaller get together, getting a turkey breast solves that dilemma. Today I'm using my go-to brine which works well on all poultry and it consists of kosher salt, brown sugar, some citrus and various spices. I'll post the link in the description below. So last night I placed my turkey breast in my briner. Next we just need to rinse with cold water and pat dry. Now that I've rinsed and patted my turkey breast dry, you'll notice that there's a netting holding the turkey breast together. We're going to leave that on during the cooking process and remove it later. Next, we're going to apply a binder to help the rub stick to. For that, I'm using duck fat spray. Just, you know, hit it on all sides. It's going to add an amazing flavor. For my first application of rub, I'm going to be using the salt and pepper garlic rub from Suckle Busters. This stuff goes good on almost everything. Just give it a light dusting on all sides. We don't want to overpower it. And then we'll let it sweat for about five minutes before applying our next coat of rub. If you know me, I like laying on my rubs. And for the second application, we're going to be using the Texas Pecan from Suckle Busters. This is not only going to add amazing flavor, but color. Just a light dusting is needed. Today I'm using my Camp Chef pellet smoker and since today's cook won't take that long, I'm going to take advantage of one of the added features of this newer model. I have the Camp Chef preheated to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and this model offers an additional smoke mode where you can dial in added smoke anywhere from 1 to 10. Again, since this cook won't take that long, I've set the dial to 8. My turkey breast has been smoking at 275 degrees Fahrenheit using the smoke mode of level eight for about three hours. Uh, it's very important that you check the internal temperature of your turkey breast uh, before pulling it off. And we're gonna do that now. I'm using a thermal pin, super accurate. Just gonna poke it right in the middle of the breast. And we are hitting 158. So now we're gonna pull this off. We'll get some aluminum foil and tint it and let it rest for about 10 more minutes. All right, I have removed the netting that was holding the turkey breast together during the cooking process. This looks and smells phenomenal. Let's carve into this bad boy. Using a good slicing knife helps. I have a, a slicing knife that I got from Fine King. Make sure you guys check them out. They have amazing products. Wow, this bird is super, super juicy. Look at that. Wow. It's already running off the table. Wow. Look how juicy this turkey breast is. Let's give it a try. Wow. That tasted absolutely phenomenal. You definitely have to give it a try. The brine definitely ensured that the turkey breast stayed juicy and flavorful and the rubs weren't overwhelming. Yet another way to prepare turkey for that special occasion. There are several ways to prepare a turkey and hopefully you guys give this one a try. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.